everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am out in the barn right now and the the sound is probably terrible because it's raining. Yes, it's raining, it's February and it's raining. So it's kind of really, really icy outside and our barn is not insulated. It's just steel on the um, post. So when it rains or if it's windy or anything like that, it's really loud in here. So I'm not sure how good the sound is gonna be. So I probably won't do a whole lot of talking, but I'm out here in the barn to fix up what needs fixing before our first calf arrives. So Dolores is due to calf here uh, about March 12th. And she is a good mama cow. This um, Delia is her baby. Well, she's over a year old now. And <laughs> but um, Dolores is originally from a dairy operation. So the people that we got her from were homesteaders, and they got her from a dairy operation in Wisconsin. So she is not new to calving and we don't expect any problems. She knows what she's doing and she's a good mama. Um, but I am trying to get everything prepared in case we need any sort of supplies for her or her calf. So first on my agenda is to get the milking stanchion in order. I am going to lower the front end of it because uh, when me and my husband put this together, it was when we first brought Dolores home and we didn't really have any idea of the size, any sort of dimensions that we needed for a cow to go into a stanchion. So the size, we've had her and Delia in it a ton and right away I knew that the feeder was too high and I needed to lower that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove basically the whole front end with the feeder and the, the neck uh, holder thing and uh, kind of lower that a bit. And I'm also gonna brace the top. I've got it braced in the front to the wall, so it's really sturdy that way. But if she gets to moving around and stuff side to side, it kind of feels a little scary <laughs> I don't know it's not gonna flip or anything but it it moves and I don't like that and I just want her and I to both feel secure in it because I'm new to milking and she's new to being milked by me so um, anyways so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and kind of rebuild the front um, right now we just have one side rail on each side and I don't know if it's the perfect height or not uh, I guess we'll just see over time. Maybe we want two bars on the side. I'm not sure um, because we really want it to be a multi-purpose uh, stanchion. I mean, for like different size cows. So we like to train our, the heifers in here and they're a little smaller than our standard size jersey. So um, also I will eventually try to milk the Dexter cows that we get in the future. Right now, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I have a Dexter bull and then two Jersey cows or a Jersey heifer and a Jersey cow. And so I, in the future, we want to get, you know, several Dexter cows and I would like to try milking them and see how that is too. So of course they're a lot shorter than a standard size Jersey. So there's that. And if we ever in the future decide to keep one of our calves, um, to milk and replace our bull or something um, you never know so we might want we want to be able to service a full size or a mid size cow in this stanchion but first in order I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that we've also got some gates that we want to lower so the calf can't basically walk right underneath because we're gonna have a tiny tiny calf a Jersey Dexter mix it's gonna be a really tiny calf and so we want to lower some of the gates down um, for whatever reason, the people who installed the gates before we moved here, some of them are really, really high. And some of them we have a double gate and one's high and one's low. I don't know why that happened that way, but um, it's been driving me crazy since we moved here. 
Um, so we're gonna adjust the gates, but probably not today because it's raining. <laughs> and uh, so, but today I can be dry in the barn and go ahead and take care of the stanchion. Um, I also want to get the stall taken care of. Um, I want to, I need to get some carriage bolts so that I can secure the gate between the stalls. Um, it wouldn't hurt to buy some more straw, but I'm not sure if we will. We've got three bales of straw that we were going to put some bedding in there when it gets closer to her due date. And, but we might just throw just, she eats the straw anyways, so I kind of think we might just throw a bunch of hay in there and it'll serve purpose as bedding and she'll eat what she wants and all that anyways. So anyways, I'm going to get to work and get this going. I got the feeder off so this is what I had on there for to put food in there um, we don't feed grain or anything so it would be like uh, hay pellets alfalfa pellets and uh, maybe some apple cider vinegar or some supplements in there for her and possibly some hay although when we were training her and stuff in the stanchion if we put hay in here she would just flip it out because she likes to get the chaff at the bottom so i don't know if that's realistic um but so i got the feeder off that is the actual trough part and this was the frame that i had to set that down inside so i got that off and now i need to remove these two here and the top part of that brace so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'll probably just take these carriage bolts out and get these two by fours out of here first so I don't end up hitting myself in the head or something with them you can't do anything in the barn without an audience remove that two by four before I can get the carriage bolts out because I put the nut and bolt on the carriage bolt and then I put the two by four on that's kind of blocking it so I'm gonna have to remove that two by four first and then I can get the, two, the carriage bolts out and get these two by fours off
just going to put all my screws in a bucket so I don't lose them and end up in a cow's hook or something. Alrighty. So there's that. That was the 2x4 on the outside there. So now I can remove those carriage bolts and get these 2x4s out of here. I have a couple holes drilled down here, but I don't know why I have them on the wide one because uh, it was definitely too wide for even our standard jersey. So. So for these, the neck holder, I don't know if there's an official term, but I had the two by fours and I drilled a hole up here and drilled a hole at the bottom and then the carriage bolt goes through there and I left the nut on there loose so that it could turn back and forth to let, you know, her in and out. And then at the top, I would put it into the position I made a few different size holes and marked them. And uh, then I could stick that through that, through this. And then there's a second two by four on the back and that holds it in position. So it works really great. It's just adjusting to get it the proper size that it's not squeezing her neck, but it's tight enough she can't get her head out of there. So um, I also on the back end put in, I'll show you, I put in, uh, these um, on both sides of these back posts and then I set a 2 by 4 up in there like so and that just prevents her from being able to back out before I'm ready for her to go so so the uh, the head is kind of just extra security to have her in there Alright, so I got the 2x4 off that was right here, and that's where the feeder sat on. And here's the carriage bolt sticking out, and that's where those two 2x4s two go in and swivel for the neck. So I need to, this is my last board down here that I need to take off. And I'm going to move it down probably a good ways, probably uh, 8 to 12 inches at least. So I'm not really going to measure probably, but um, yeah. That's my last board down here. And then I will have to go up here and move these braces down. These are the braces that hold in the neck uh, thingy, neck catcher. Um, those are what hold those two by fours. So I need to um, lower those as well. And then I'm gonna add a brace from this post to the wall and from that back post to the wall will be super set there. So, and then I'll have to reassemble, whoops, reassemble the feeder and all that. I think I got it where I want it um, just eyeballing it so uh, it was probably about right here was the bottom of the board so now the bottom of the boards down here so but roughly eight eight inches eight to ten inches is probably what I lowered it but it's only maybe a foot from the bottom so yeah I think that'll probably be good I'm going to go ahead and lower those top braces real quick before I put all the rest of my screws in and make it make it final. So if I don't like the height, then I will be able to adjust it without having to remove a bunch of screws again. All 
All right, now I will be able to see how high to put, how high I can put this upper piece. I just want to make sure that these all fit where I have it. So I had two holes drilled back here for whatever reason I can't remember. Um, the bolts were through here, but it was too wide for even our biggest cow doors. So I went ahead and moved the bolts to the closer notch. Hopefully that works better. I think these are, these are five or six inch carriage bolts. And I don't tighten them all the way so that they can still freely move. About like that. All right, we're looking good here. That is the neck catcher in the tightest position that I have on there currently. And yeah, I'm pretty confident that one of those settings is gonna work. We just have to fiddle around with it. And I think that the height is really good. There's probably about a 12 inch opening there at the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna set the feeder in there a little bit lower than that board. So I think that'll be pretty good. When we built this, we built it with uh, scrap lumber that we had laying around in the barn. And a lot of it is spare pieces from when we built our chicken coop. So we had bought rough cut lumber. It's not like from the store. So some things I did a little bit strange, but that's because of the lumber that I was working with and I, I was trying to build it according to what I had. So it's looking, I think it's looking pretty cool now. And I think I got it at a really nice height. I have to screw in a few more screws up here, but uh, now I guess it's time to mount the feeder and I'm going to have to do it a little bit differently than I had before because the reason that I put it at the height that I did was uh, because I used the wall to as part of my support as my legs so I didn't have legs on the back and then I mounted it to the front of the uh, the board down here. Anyway, so now I'm not going to be able to do that because there isn't a board on the wall right there. So I'm going to have to either make some legs or figure out how I'm going to mount that on the back. But that's okay because I have tons of wood over there. <laughs> so this is the board that the feeder, the manger, will attach to. So I'm going to put it right about level with this board, maybe a little bit lower. Actually, yeah, definitely a little bit lower. I'm, thinking. I'm used to horses and they eat a little bit higher up than the cows. <coughs> that looks pretty good. 
pretty good at the early level. pretty good. I think I got it at a height that I like. This bar here, I moved it several times and kept standing back and looking and I think I got it at a height that I like and I put the frame for the trough on here. However, it's not secured. It's just kind of sitting here between sitting on top of that board and it's tight fitting up against the exterior wall. So I like it. It's got the carriage bolts are right at the top there, so I don't have to worry about those interfering with anything. So I'm going to put some little legs, I think, from here to here, which is the bottom of the wall. So I think about six and a half inches. I'll go cut a couple two by fours and we'll put those in there. All right. Let's see. All right, that should do her. We'll use that piece. Those fit in there perfectly. Love how it looks. Looks pretty secure, so I'm gonna screw it to this board and screw those in. I might have to go get a couple more screws. Um, and then I will set the feeder in there and I'm almost done. Alright. Perfect. I think that's gonna be perfect. I like it. And I'm just going to put a screw right in here to make sure that doesn't come out. But I think it's a good height. Worked out perfectly. I'm happy with it so far. Alright, I think the stanchion is officially 
ready to be used. So excited. Um, hopefully this evening, maybe after dinner, my husband will come out and we can uh, go ahead and get Dolores in there and do some practice runs and just get used to it and make sure that it fits her great. Can't wait. Maybe Delia can come too. Right, Delia? Anyway, so now I just need to clean in here and sweep the floor. I have a million pieces of twine from the hay bales that I need to get organized and throw some garbage away. The netting from the round bales, need to throw that away, get the floor clean, and uh, get everything organized. I'm getting together a birthing kit for the birth. I will keep it in here at all times um, forever, I guess. Um, I got a tote and I'm just collecting things that I think we, you know, could possibly need. And I'll probably make a video of that once I get all the supplies around. I'll show you guys that in an upcoming video once it's ready. And I will give you an update on Dolores as we get closer to actually calving. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, try out the stanchion. I've never milked in this before. We've had, like I said, the cows have been um, in here and we've been doing some training and stuff since we got them, uh, which was what, uh, almost a year ago. Not quite a year, we got them last summer. I hope to get her out here tonight. If I do, of course, I will film it and it will be at the end of this video. So if you want to see Dolores um, in the stanchion, Hopefully I can get her in here tonight. That'll be fun and give her a little snack and groom her and, and brush her and things. She, I think she'll enjoy that to get some special attention. Um, but yeah, I will probably take a few measurements and put them in the description box below if you're interested in my kind of general dimensions. Like I said, I didn't follow anyone's plans for this. I didn't write any plans for this. I used scrap wood. So um, I'll give you kind of some rough estimates probably, but um, yeah, hopefully that inspires you. Maybe uh, that helps you see what you want to build for your stanchion. Um, but that's about it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and keep cleaning and get this barn whipped into shape and ready. Uh, probably when tomorrow, if we have some nicer weather, we will get to fixing the gates, lowering the gates and getting the stall ready, getting the extra water tank ready so that um, if we do decide to separate the cows while she's calving and just get all the odds and ends ready. It's just time to prepare for birthing. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. If you want to follow Dolores and her delivery of her calf, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless and we'll see ya.